Hey everyone and welcome back to Developer Soapbox. Today I want to show you how to run any type of command, any type of native command on a database server from Microsoft Access. So this includes executing functions and returning back the, the function results or executing uh, store procedures, ex executing DDL. I, I really mean anything. And basically because you're using the native uh, SQL, this, this can actually, even if, if you're doing a, a, a simple select query, uh, this can actually return your results much, much faster than using uh, the Access engine through uh, link tables. And this will work again on any type of database server that uh, you can have an ODBC connection to. So as long as you have an ODBC driver to this database, to this type of database, so uh, like SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, and so on, you should be able to do this. Right, so the, my only assumptions here is that obviously you need Microsoft Access and you also need uh, ODBC connection to the database server. Um, for today's example, we're going to be using SQL Server, but again, this will work for any type of uh, database. All right, so let's get started. So right here, you see on the right side, um, I have a SQL Server Management Studio and I'm con connected to uh, just, just a sample AdventureWorks database, and if you're familiar with this database, you have um, you have one of the base tables is person, right? So, for example, if I select the first ten records from the person table, you can see that it's just a, a list of uh, people, and in this table you have first and last name, right? So let's say that um, I wanted to have a function that returns the the full name, so the first name uh, space last name and I want to be able to use this from Microsoft Access right so I have so as you can see here I have uh, the same in SQL Server so I already have this function created and here's the function body and like I mentioned you just pass in the ID of the person record and it returns back the first name concatenated with the last name and if I run this in SQL Server you can see my results and I want to, to get the exact same results, but using Microsoft Access. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and hit that Create button and click on um, Query Design. Okay, go ahead and close the, the wizard and uh, go ahead and hit the SQL button. All right, uh, second thing is make sure, and this is the most critical part, uh, is uh, hit on the Pass Through button. And what this is going to do is you're basically telling Access, don't try to convert my queries, you know, just pass this through as is to the database server, right? And return back results if I, I have my returns, rec returns records flagged to yes. If it's no, it means that this is an action. So just do the action like a store procedure or a DDL and don't return back any records. So if we wanted to run the same function, I can literally just come in here, control C to copy, paste, save, and I'll just keep this as query one. And the only other thing you need to set is your ODBC connect string. So go ahead and click the three little dots and click on machine data source. And then go ahead and select your uh, connection. If you don't have a connection, an ODBC connection already established to this database, you will have to create a new one. So you can just click new and follow through this wizard. Um, out of the box, I believe uh, Windows 10 comes with a SQL Server ODBC uh, driver already installed. If not, you will have to, um, to download for your particular uh, database um, type that you're that you are using. So again, uh, ODBC driver should be available for MySQL and Oracle and so on. So go ahead and just run through this um, wizard to set up your ODBC connection. For me, since I already have one, I'll just go ahead and select it, click OK. And it's going to ask you for your credentials and click OK. Oh, let me try that one, one more time. There we go. And it will ask you if you want to save the password in the connect string. You can click yes or no. Uh, for, for this case, for just this example, I'll go ahead and click yes. And if I run this, there we go. So you can see that uh, basically Access executed the exact same thing, right? So it just passes through the entire um, uh, query, no matter what you write, as long as it's 
native code to the database, it will execute. And um, like I mentioned, you, you can use this for um, anything, including procedures. So here we're doing a function, but if you wanted to use a stored procedure instead, you could use a stored procedure, but you can even do a DDL on here. So let's say you, you wanted to create a table um, and I'll just call this my table name and I'll keep it simple and just do a ID of in type. So, so you see here, this is going to fail, right? So I can run and you can see that it failed because it's telling me, and it tells me exactly what I need to do. Uh, pass through query with return records property set to true. Again, uh, I mentioned this returns records. So if you are expecting records to be returned, leave this as yes. If it's just an action, change this to no. And now it should, oh, so I already have my table name, but, but if I do my table one, there we go. So it executed. So now if I come back here and do select star from my table name one, for example, there we go. You, you can see that the table was created and does exist on the SQL Server database. And one uh, really awesome feature of this is that this is because it's it's executing native code, the, the native SQL. It is significantly faster than uh, using, for example, link tables in Access. So I strongly recommend uh, whenever possible, whenever it's it's something that it's you're, you're doing a query for, uh, you know, millions or hundreds of thousands of, of records to definitely use uh, pass through queries. And uh, I, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you'd like to get notified whenever I release new videos, please go ahead and do subscribe. Thank you very much.